Asia's emerging economies. Our government agencies have put much effort to further enhance Taiwan's investment environment and promote industrial innovation in order to strengthen Taiwan's global competitive advantages. Recently, our government has been working hard to integrate domestic and overseas resources, instigate deregulation, and promote the growth of the five innovative research-based industries. These five industries match well with the theme of the, this year's conference. Industrial innovation offers unlimited business opportunities. The agenda including presentations, a panel discussion, and the sharing of experience by international corporations that have investment in Taiwan. I'm sure all of you will find that today's conference can give you a new perspective on Taiwan's industrial policy, and that it helps you to identify opportunities for collaboration and for developing new business opportunities. My ministry, Ministry of Economic Affairs, have confidence that everyone attending this conference will find exciting new opportunity for investing in Taiwan. And that investing in Taiwan will help to open up unprecedented new horizons for your company's future business development in Asia. Finally, on behalf of the Ministry of Economic Affairs, I would like to once again thank President Tsai for being with us here today. I hope that both multinationals and local companies will be encouraged to start or increase their investment in Taiwan. In the coming months, the Ministry of Economic Affairs will strive to demonstrate effective implementation capabilities and work together with other agencies in the government's executive branch to bring about the transformation and upgrading of the basic of Taiwan's industries and promote continued industrial innovations. Taiwan is an ideal partner for overseas companies seeking to enhance their innovation capabilities or develop their global business network in Asia. I hope you all enjoyed today's conference. Thank you for your participation. And I hope you good health and good success for today's conference. Thank you very much. Today we are graced by the presence of President Tsai at the 2016 Taiwan Business Conference. We now like to invite the President Tsai to give us some remarks. Mr. Li, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me start by welcoming all of you, business leaders from around the world, national representatives, and other distinguished guests with an interest in Taiwan's future economic development. It is wonderful to see you all. I'm honored to attend today's Taiwan Business Alliance Conference, organized by our Ministry of Economic Affairs. Now, it is the case here. This is Taiwan's most prestigious investment promotion event. This Business Alliance Conference has become a major annual gathering at which Taiwan can showcase the dynamism of its innovation and business opportunities it offers to companies around the world. This is my first time attending the conference, and it is amazing to see so many business leaders from around the world and from so many sectors. This is a truly inspiring display of confidence in Taiwan's future. Since my new administration took office, we have been working very hard to promote transformation, upgrade, and innovation in our industry so that we can realize our vision of sustainable economic development for Taiwan. I trust that today's conference will give you a more in-depth understanding of industrial policies we are putting in place and looking you exciting opportunities we are offering for investment in Taiwan. Over the past several decades, our highly efficient manufacturing sector has won Taiwan a vital place in global supply chains. Now, as global conditions change rapidly, we must evolve accordingly. Since taking office, 
the government has been working hard to launch a new economic development model that emphasizes the core values of innovation, employment, and equitable distribution of income. We aim to restructure Taiwan's economy and generate renewed competitiveness by shifting the engine of economic growth from efficiency to innovation. At the same time, this process must, be, must give due consideration to job creation and to the equitable sharing of the benefit of growth. We are well aware that economic transformation is a multifaceted process, which will require that we relax, we relax outdated regulations, improve the investment environment, attract talent from overseas, and encourage innovation and new businesses. To this end, our government agencies have been actively reviewing the relevant systems and introducing reforms when needed, with the aim of building an ever and even better investment environment. As for the external environment, there is an urgent need for us to join the process of regional economic integration so that we can strengthen Taiwan's international trade and investment base. Besides pursuing free trade, free trade agreements with other countries, our government is also striving to secure Taiwan's participation in the Trans-Pacific Partnership, that is TPP, and the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, that is RCEP. We have also launched the new Southbound policy to establish stronger links with the countries of Southeast Asia and South Asia, as well as Australia and New Zealand. These links covering the fields of trade, investment, education, agriculture, science and technology, industry, tourism, culture and more, will bring new business opportunities. Our quest to transform Taiwan's economy is headlined by five innovative industries for the future, that is green energy, the internet of things, biomedicine, smart machinery, and defense energy. The core concept is to build an ecosystem that fosters industrial development while at the same time integrating global resources, local capabilities, and the industries and business opportunities of the future. Initially, we'll focus on our domestic markets as a test bed for this new model of development. Once the conditions arrive, we'll make system integration and related exports a major new driver of our trade growth. Country implementation plans have already been formulated for the smart machinery and Asia Silicon Valley initiative. We develop plans for the other three innovative industries in due course and I hope as soon as possible. Foreign investment is a vital factor in all of this. For decades, foreign investment has contributed to Taiwan's industrial upgrade, human resource development, and social and cultural development. We warmly welcome investment in the five innovative industries and others, of course. We are excited to work with companies worldwide on technology, supply chain integration, and system development. Together, we can create enormous business opportunities. This year's Taiwan Business Alliance Conference reaffirms, reaffirms the important role that industrial transformation upgrade and innovation plays in our economic policy. We are confident that Taiwan can fulfill this vision and be a first class innovation partner because we enjoy enviable strengths in R&D, human resources, industry cluster development, and much more. 
In closing, I want to say to all the company representatives and business leaders here today, Taiwan offers tremendous advantages. Make full use of them, set up your investment, and let's partner to create win-win worlds for your company and for Taiwan. Thank you.